Alright, so these are not party poppers or some strange things. These are the assembled engines, as you can see. Looking a bit better. Now, I've ended up filling along different seam lines. So I can find one that looks like well. There you go. Um, as you can see there, I've filled the seam line and, and rubbed down, and it's nice and smooth now. No burls or no seam line itself, so that should look nice. So they're just ready for a prime coating. Moving on. Okay, so, right, done some uh, priming, blacking, just have a look, I'm pre shading on there. Um, quite a few of them, it's hard to really tell because they're so black. Don't know if you can see the line difference. And reading on the ends of the jets. And they're looking quite nice. So, hard to see. I don't want you just about to see the scene. So, I'm going to find a good one. Mm, that one's very fine. So, definitely an improvement. And that one pretty good as well. So moving on. Alright, so place the arms on there. Gave okay, a base colour coat. You see the red at the bottom, red and black, grey, red and grey there. Looking quite nice. Seam line pretty hard to see. Not imperceivable, but at the same time quite still difficult to see. So it's not more than acceptable. So looking good. Yeah, just thought I'd show you what it would roughly look like on the wing. So here's the wing. So that would be the flight. And that would be upward taking. I think that works quite nicely. I'm quite happy with that. So the engines are basically ready. Ooh, of course it needs weathering and highlighting and extra shadow. Or oh, a couple of decals maybe. But it doesn't look too bad. Well I like it anyway. And at the end of the day, that's what matters. Okay. Ciao for now.